Season's greetings and welcome to TV TV Sport, where today's highlights come from New Cuffbury as Wimborne Town host Gospel Borough in the Southern League Premier South. If you're local to the Bournemouth, Christchurch and Paul area, give Steve at All Clean Waste Management a shout for all your domestic and commercial waste removal needs. My Wimborne Town highlights incorporate commentary from Owen Shepherd of Radio Wimborne. So look for the little logo in the bottom right hand corner when I cut over to him. Next up through the highlights sausage factory will be Wimborne against Salisbury but that's post Christmas so join me then. Getting back to current affairs, let's have a look at the league table and current form as it stands at the start of play. The Magpies picked up a handy away point at Met Police last week so they'll be well up for this one. Talking of which, let's have a look at the squads. If you find yourself liking this channel, please subscribe, hit the bell and you'll know when I've uploaded something new. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can always get in touch with me as well by one of the methods that's scrolling along the bottom of the screen. Oh, yes you can. I've gone all Christmassy, so I'm not going to have a pop at these guys today. Richard Lawrence, Adam Kennard and Jonathan Pike. Let's hope everyone else follows suit. It's that time of year where a strange old man breaks into your house and leaves you a present. Yep, Santa Claus is in town, but would he be bringing free points? And finally, we were blessed with Radio Royalty today. Cliff Pledge from BBC Radio Solent Sport and Radio Wimborne's very own Owen Shepherd, who you'll be hearing a lot more from later on. Before the action, we had a presentation for Player of the Month that went to Lewis Bill, and here he is getting his trophy off of Santa. So, for the second to last time for this year, these highlights are brought to you by TV TV. Not too early, Mo. All the early pressure came from the Magpies. Nothing came from this particular move, but it set the tone for the first half, with Wimborne looking to slide players in down the channels. The visitors' first attempt at goal came courtesy of this soft looking free kick. You can see that the opportunity to have some training sessions has really paid dividends. Just watch here as Wimborne pop the ball around. You can see some partnerships starting to develop already. As we approach the midway point of the first half, I'm going to pass over to Owen Shepherd of Radio Wimble. Take it away, Owen. Thrown in by Josh Sport, then hoisted long, but Wimble defend well. Picked up by Louis Kellaway here on the halfway line. Picked, then picked up by Lewis Beale, who can break away here, maybe. He's got the Gosport number seven at his back, chasing him down. Beale plays it into the area for Harry Murphy. Oh, Harry Murphy has slotted it into the back of the Gosport next. A brilliant, brilliant piece of play there from Wimborne. Beal fell to his feet but got back up, ran into the area, cut it back for Harry Morgan. Wimborne leads after 26 minutes here at New Cuthbury. It's it, it's it. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, Wimborne. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Oh, 
Well done. How do you fancy having heart failure a couple of times in the space of a second? Yeah? Okay, watch on. As you can see, the first half was a bit of a yo-yo game. Wimborne arguably were the best of it. But it seemed like that everyone just wanted to miss the ball by about an inch or so. Harry Morgan had the opportunity to double Wimborne's lead, but he couldn't get enough loft on his shot. Hit it! Hit it! He didn't know it yet, but the assistant ref below me was about to start really loving life with all the chatter he was about to receive, and the ante of the game was just about to be upped. I've watched this plenty of times and I'm not even convinced it's an own ball, let alone a penalty which was being claimed by the gospel bench. As for the foul, yeah they make contact, but Bragg ain't even looking at the player, he's concentrating on the ball. Books in. Yellow card for Tom Bragg. And it's cold. Throughout all this came over, trying to stop this wall out. Shot goes towards goal and a brilliant save by Alex Colt. It was a left footed strike from the Gospel Man. Alex Cole launches it long over halfway towards this field where it goes over everybody out for eight. Gosport goal kick and the referee blows the whistle for half time and Wimborne are in the lead at the break. Welcome to Tunnel Cam. We're at the start of the second half and Wimborne have picked up where they left off. Despite what you may have heard elsewhere about the second half being dominated by the visitors, just watch the evidence in front of your eyes and decide for yourself. Thrown in by Billy Mavery. And uh, eventually picked up by Harry Morgan, who's still sprinting after the ball. He, he's just lost out here to the, to the uh, number five, but he's fallen. It's fallen here for Curtis Young! The Gosport number five, Ryan Woodford, dived to the ground, appealing for a free kick, and ended up just leaving the ball to Harry Morgan, who ran into the area, cut it back for Curtis Young, and he jousted it into the back of the Gosport net. Wimborne lead 2 0 here at New Cut Free and may well be on their way to a first win here at their new ground. As I was following the celebrations, I missed this on the main car. I believe the number five, Ryan Woodford, has been sent off for Gosport as well. Needless to say, emotions were riding high on the bench. There seems to be a narrative doing the rounds that all the bad decisions went against Gosport. Wooden was set through and had a great chance to pull one back for Gosport. Oh, 
Remember, the second half was all gospel, so I just can't explain why I keep finding these clips of Wimbledon attacking. It's just, oh, maybe my camera's broken. I would ask Father for Christmas for a new one, but he left an hour ago. Wooden has an attempted header coming up here and reminded me exactly why I never tried to head the ball because it always hit my nose as well. We're in the 78th minute now and Gospel are just about to get a free kick. And for the free kick, we'll go back to Owen. Played into the box by Gosport deep and into the back of the net from Gosport. It was a lovely free kick, lots of height on it, dipped towards the back post. Luke Hallett with the goal. We will have to hold on now. Mabry finds Harry Morgan in a little pocket of space, played down to Curtis Young here on the near side. He dribbles at his man, plays it back inside for Harry Morgan, takes a nice touch, and it's blocked by a just block man in the box. One more corner, it will be. Right for the swing, it comes in from Curtis Young, and it's just volleyed over by Dan Strudnell. The gospel break away with it eventually up the far side. Newborn cannot let this go now. Mabry stands strong but gives away a free kick. And in a position of danger, as we learnt last time. So free kick for Gosport on the far side, left footed into the box it comes. And yes! bundled in by Gosport. It's a nightmare for Wimborne, but the offside flag goes up. Wimborne evade it. They're still in front as it stands. The offside flag saves Wimborne's blushes. I am obviously no expert, but I'm pretty sure that if you're the one who puts the ball in the net, then you are interfering with play and therefore offside. Yes! Yes! Thank goodness for that. Wim will just have to be careful where they give away the free kicks now, late on in this game. Got forward with it now on the halfway line, trying to move forward. They play it backwards and trying to get forward. Wim will try to get, limit the space that Gosport have. Lovely. Kind of sweeping up there by Harry Morgan, so just lifting it over the top towards Lewis Field. Can he get there first? He doesn't run too far. And Albert White kicks it long and out. Prints it out. Back to their number nine it comes. Still trying to force away through Gosport late on. Whist into the box, flicked across the area and caught on the line by Alex Paul. Nearly a four minutes of, at a time here at Newcastle Free as they try to Wimbled are trying to battle their way to their first win. At home in the league, it's cut across the box and from Gosport from the far side and they just Wimbled just evade that one. It drops to their Gosport number four on the edge of the box now, cutting inside. Tomeina coming out to stop the number nine, blocked by Billy Mabry, whisked away by Wimbled again. Ball played forward from the Gosport goalkeeper and the final whistle has gone here at Newcastle. Wimbledon come away with three points for the first time this season at home. Courtesy of goals from Curtis Young and Harry Morgan. It's elation for the Magpies here and they get the three points. What a Christmas present that is. So congratulations go to Wimbledon Town for a well earned three points. Commiserations to Gospel. Happy Christmas to everyone and don't forget to join me just after Christmas for Wimborne Town against Salisbury.
over to the home changing room to sing us out.